Hello from Entale Park guys. The topic for today is why should we learn Apache Spark? But before we begin, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on that bell notification icon so you don't miss out on any updates from us. Also, in order for us to solve all of your queries and answer your doubts, be sure you sign up for our webinar for a more personalized experience, the link for which has been provided to you in your YouTube chat box. So without any further ado, let us get into the agenda that we have for today. So firstly, uh, we're going to be going over why we should learn uh, Apache Spark, then what actually Spark is. And then after that, we're going to be going over some of the companies that use Spark today in today's environment. And then we're going to go over how to get started with Apache Spark. So uh, let us begin. So why Apache Spark? So as we can see, we have some data presented on the screen right now and numbers don't lie. So on the left hand side, we can see that the global big data market is forecasted to grow to 103 billion US dollars by 2027, which is uh, almost double the size that it was in 2018. So this is essentially proof that the big data market is a field that is constantly evolving as technology grows, as the surplus production of user data uh, garners. So uh, we can be sure that it is not a field that is going uh, outdated anytime soon, because uh, as companies grow, uh, they need to be analyzing the customer data that they are generating and the user data that they are generating. And uh, to be able to be commercially viable, they need to analyze this data and actually create models out of this so that they can further enhance their profits and uh, basically uh, enhance their efficiency in a way. And then uh, advanced analytics tools uh, such as predictive analytics and data mining help to extract value from the data and generate new business insights. So exactly what I was talking about. And these companies uh, in the name of big data, they use these advanced analytic tools uh, like the one we are going to be discussing about uh, Apache Spark uh, and they uh, create predictive analytics and uh, use data mining to essentially extract the value out of the surplus amounts of data that uh, these organizations are generating. So uh, these things essentially help these businesses in order to generate business insights. So if uh, these organizations are targeting particular customer bases they now know uh, what these particular customers like. So they can uh, basically use their efforts in targeting the exact customer basis that they want to target and not waste their money anywhere else. And uh, uh, lastly, 53% of the companies are adopting big data analytics. So this was a uh, survey by Forbes done in 2017. And in 2019, Forbes essentially said that 95% of businesses today that exist all around the world have some use of big data analytics because they need to manage unstructured data because almost all the businesses that we have that are present on a global scale are uh, online and they are generating a lot uh, a lot of unstructured data and these this data that they are that they are generating this needs to be processed so that is essentially the use case uh, for big data analytics in the first place. So uh, if you're looking to basically get into Apache Spark, I'll tell you why it's easy to get into, right? So say that you're coming from a data analytics uh, field or a data science field. So you would know either of these two languages. If you're coming from a data science field, uh, you, you would know either Python or R programming, right? Because these are the two tools that are used in data science. So if you're uh, hoping to get into big data analytics with Apache Spark, Spark provides libraries and APIs for these two particular languages. So you're essentially, you don't need to learn anything new. You can get into these technologies without any uh, additional effort. You just need to know basic syntaxes and that's all. So uh, if you're coming from that background, not from a development, uh, developmental background, uh, if you're coming from a Python or R background, you can get into Apache Spark pretty easily. And uh, if you're coming from a developmental background like uh, Java or Scala for that matter, then also uh, Apache Spark is pretty easy to get into. 
because uh, nothing additional is required you just need your uh, traditional java knowledge or scala knowledge and you can implement that in apache spark as well without having to learn anything new and lastly for those of you who are coming from an rdbms background uh, from a database management background like mysql sql no sql for that matter also you can get into apache spark pretty easily as well because apache spark supports the sql context and you can basically run your sql queries uh, uh, using apache spark on not your uh, traditional uh, relational databases but you can uh, basically run them on big data bases as well and then uh, what can you do with spark so there are essentially five or four things that are uh, quite essential to so there are essentially four things that are the use so there are essentially four things that are done with apache spark uh, the first is streaming data second is machine learning interactive analytics and for computing so streaming data basically means that data is being generated in a continuous amount constantly and you need a tool to analyze that data in real time that is being streamed to you so that is done easily using apache spark so yeah and then we have machine learning so you can integrate apache spark with python uh, and that is called pyspark and then you can use the python machine learning libraries uh, and implement machine learning with the spark models that you have created or you can use the mlib library in spark itself and implement spark on the terminal itself uh, the machine learning models that you would want to implement then obviously interactive analytics so the when the data is coming you can essentially create your analytical models on that data uh, on a touch of a button and then there is fork computing and then we have fork computing so fork computing is essentially a technology that is uh, present inside of a big data cluster that uses edge nodes to perform the maximum calculations possible so uh, these edge nodes could be routers and switches and this is a technology that is implemented in big data analytics a lot and spark goes very well alongside it so these were some of the implementations with apache spark there are obviously more but we are not going to be going over all of them and then we have the average salary of a spark developer so in the united states it's about $105000 per annum in the uk it's 73000 pounds and in India, it's about 10 lakhs per annum. So a pretty decent salary for an experienced Spark developer. And then uh, let us get into what Spark actually is. So Apache Spark is a unified analytics engine for big data processing. So it's an engine that is 100 times faster than your traditional Hadoop engine because uh, Spark actually transfers the data that it is analyzing into the memory for faster processing and the latency involved in uh, in-memory data analysis is almost zero so that essentially makes it a hundred times faster and then obviously the built-in modules for streaming sql machine learning and graph processing so for continuous analysis of data for data querying for uh, machine learning models creation uh, with the mlib library and graph processing for data visualization as well and uh, let us go over some of the companies that we see using spark on a day-to-day -day basis uh, amazon microsoft netflix ibm yahoo so uh, for their big data needs these companies uh, are using spark these days and uh, obviously because these companies have such a large user base they have the need the use case for actually having tools to analyze big data so uh, let's go over some of the course content that IntelliPath provides for uh, Apache Spark. If you're looking to learn and understand Spark, you can uh, look up sources online. There are a lot of resources available for Apache Spark online. Uh, you can look at our IntelliPath blogs as well as well our, uh, as well as our YouTube channel. Uh, we provide a lot of content related to Apache Spark. But if you want to uh, take this course, if you want to learn Apache Spark in a more structured way, where all of the study material is available and the curriculum is crafted in a way where you would learn 
all of the basics and essentials uh, required for you to completely understand Spark. You can check out the course that we provide at Intellipath for uh, Apache Spark and Scala. So if you head over to Intellipath.com, uh, you can look over in the search box, and type in Spark, and get a, you get a lot of courses available there. And uh, once we go scroll down, we'll find something called Apache Spark and Scala certifications training. So uh, for Apache Spark on an individual level, this is one of our most popular courses. So if you just look at the features that we provide for this course, key features for this course uh, include 24 hours worth of instructor-led training and 22 hours of self-paced videos. So uh, 24 hours of instructor-led training essentially means that uh, you will be seated in live online classes where an instructor would teach you the curriculum and if you have any doubts with relation to what the instructor is teaching you can ask the instructor on spot uh, in a query and the instructor will respond to you live and if the instructor is going too fast for you or uh, there is a certain pace that you have uh, but the instructor is not following that and you need to learn more or uh, catch up with the rest of the batch there are 22 hours worth of self-paced videos as well uh, so you can look at those videos, accumulate all of your doubts and then ask that instructor in the next session as well. And then uh, aside from that, we have 60 hours worth of project work and exercises. So hands on makes or breaks a learning experience. And it is the most important factor uh, whenever employers are looking to hire people, they need experience. So we provide 60 hours worth of project work and exercises in our Apache Spark and Scala certification training. So you can look into that and uh, try those projects, uh, implement those projects and exercises and uh, get your hands-on experience. And then uh, there is certification and job assistance. So once you've completed the course, you'll get a certification. But not only that, uh, we will forward your resumes to potential uh, employers. So you'll get job assistance from us. While we cannot guarantee you a job, we can certainly guarantee you an opportunity, an interview, and depending on the interview performance, you might land that dream big data analytics job. And other than that, we have a flexible schedule. So uh, for a particular session, if the instructor's timing doesn't match with yours, uh, you can be seated in the, next, in the next batch so your classes aren't missed. And then we have a lifetime free upgrade. So uh, basically th that means that if there is a significant update in the technologies that you're learning uh, that changes the meta completely, then the technology, the course that we provide for that particular technology will be upgraded as well. And this upgrade will be provided to you for free. So you can come back and uh, take that new course, the new upgraded course anytime without any cost. And then there's 24 seven lifetime support and access. So all of your technical doubts and other doubts as well uh, will be resolved by our support team at all times possible. So with that out of the way, uh, we'll look at what we will learn in this uh, Spark online training. So uh, Apache Spark and Scala programming. So Scala programming will be taught to you first before you actually get into Apache Spark to uh, get you the idea of how to use Spark using the Scala terminal. And then uh, the differences between Apache Spark and Hadoop and why Apache Spark is a much more preferred tool than uh, uh, your vanilla Hadoop. Then Scala and the programming implementation as I discussed implementing spark on a cluster so on a big data cluster you'll be implementing spark and uh, writing spark applications using python java and scala so uh, three of the technologies that we discussed earlier in the presentation and rdd and operation uh, so rdd is one of the implementations of spark it is one of the data structures that is present inside of spark defining and explaining spark streaming so real-time data analytics Scala classes concept. So like Java classes, Scala classes also exist. So that will be explained as well. The interoperability of Java, of Java and Scala and Scala operations and working on projects using Scala with Spark. So uh, those are some of the uh, things that you will learn in the Spark online training. So who should take up this Spark and Scala certification course? 
uh, software engineers looking to upgrade their job profiles, data engineers and EPL developers, data scientists. So if, if you're coming from a data science background, definitely go for Apache Spark and graduates who are looking to make a career in big data. So if you're fresh out of university and you're looking to get into big data, definitely uh, recommend it to take up a certification course for big data analytics. And the prerequisites uh, for this particular course, there are none because Scala and Spark will be taught to you uh, as part of the course. You will not need to learn anything uh, new. And uh, if you, why should you take up the Apache Spark and Scala training course? So because it's a hundred times faster than Hadoop because Hadoop is kind of being outdated uh, in today's technology. And Spark is the tool that is being uh, adopted by a lot of industries. So those are some of the reasons why uh, you should take up Apache Spark as we discussed in the presentation before. So you can also look at the course curriculum in detail. Uh, you can download the curriculum and look at it in detail and look at all of the project works that you will do as part of the certification course. And if you want to look at some of our customer reviews, you can look at that as well at the bottom of the web page. And yeah, so if you have uh, any of the questions matching to our FAQs as well, those are also present. So yeah, especially uh, for our YouTube audiences and webinar audiences watching us here today, uh, if you use the code YouTube30, you'll get a flat 30% discount on all our courses, not just the Apache, Scala and uh, Spark certification. You can get a 30% discount, a flat 30% discount on all our courses. So if you're looking to subscribe, uh, you can definitely use the coupon code YouTube30 for that. And with that done, we are at the end. And if you're looking to contact any of our course advisors or our sales team for that matter, you can use the following contact details. Also a reminder for you guys, since a lot of people have joined me on the webinar, uh, this is a reminder for you guys to sign up for the webinar so you can ask your doubts live. The link for which has been shared again on your YouTube live, live chat box. So make sure you go ahead and sign up for it. And that is about it for this session. Be sure to catch us again uh, today at 8.30 p.m. And uh, that's about it for from us. Thank you and goodbye.